new from Imprint in their Essential Film Noir Collection 4 comes 210 and that is Rope of Sand which stars the always fantastic Burt Lancaster as Mike Davis, a man who's returning to South Africa after a period of time away and it seems that he's got a bit of history with the people here and some debts that need to be paid. Uh, a few years prior he was in the desert and met someone who had a bunch of diamonds. He saved that man uh, for a small time being, hid the diamonds and the commandant who runs this is played by Paul Heinrich who is fantastic, uh, as a hateful character, tortured and almost killed Mike trying to get the location of the diamonds. Of course he didn't get it and banished him from the country but Mike's back, healed better and with a mind full of vengeance. He's after his diamonds. He's after revenge against this commandant. I'm back, Bogle. Now I know what I want. Thanks to you, the hunter and the guide is gone. I'm back to get something I've already paid for. And we meet a bunch of characters along the way. We get Claude Rains as Montgomery, a man who works for a diamond company who's looking for uh, some good footing to kind of get on his career a little bit and finding the diamonds would be a great way to do that. We get the always terrific Peter Lorre as Toadie who turns up as a kind of sleazy diamond dealer, but I kind of like that character. Don't know if it was just the fact that Lorre was playing him or if it was such a great role. Take the diamond itself, for instance. Carbon suit, chemically speaking, and yet the hardest of all matters. So hard, in fact, that whatever it touches must suffer. And then you get Kareem Clerk, who is uh, the love interest of this one. She's kind of brought in by the Commandant to almost uh, a, as a honey trap to catch Mike Davis, but unfortunately for the Commandant, they actually fall in love. Mike, tell them what they want to know and let's leave you. You, you get Mike and, and his love interest and how they kind of fall for each other, but there's still that unsure about what each other's machinations are. And it just plays out wonderfully. We get to see these characters interact. We get to see the situations be exasperated by actions when it should have been uh, brought down a little bit by some articulated conversations. But we never go that route. We get to see a thrilling finale. We get to see a fight sequence which is shocking. Um, and we get to see Mike, a true character of Mike, brought out as in what really drives this man. What's going to happen when someone unties a knot that holds you together? Maybe you'll be around to pick up the pieces. I loved Rope of Sand. As an opening film for this set, it was terrific. Burt Lancaster is amazing. You get Claude Rains, who's terrific. Peter Laurie's fantastic. Paul Henry is just great as the bad guy. If you've got a really uh, wonderful performer portraying a, a horrible antagonist it makes the protagonist so much better and in this one I really liked Mike and what he stood for and how he went about his business trying to get what he feels he deserved more than anybody else in this one and the wrap up as well was so satisfying in the way it went about you know there was not a thing about this that, that let me down film noirs I'm always a little wary that there's going to be a sting in the tail Something bad's going to happen because that's what these kind of movies have going for them. But I was so happy to see things turn out the way I personally wanted them to turn out. What a thrilling and fantastic start to this set. If the rest of the movies are on par with this, this is going to be a knockout of a set. Let's jump into the disc and see what the extras are on this one. Here we are in the disc of Rope of Sand. Let's go to the special features. You will see an audio commentary by film historian Sam Deegan. We have film professor Jose Arroyo on Rope of Sand, which is 33 minutes 14 seconds. It's a fantastic uh, talking head. We've got him focusing on Burt Lancaster saying that this was the worst film of his career. The unfair criticism from both uh, the participants and the people who saw the film. Uh, and we focus a little bit on De Terry and uh, his career working with a little bit with uh, Marlene Dietrich and uh, other things and there is a trailer which is 2 minutes 46 seconds and that's the extras for Rope of Sand so there we have it, Rope of Sand 
a terrific start to this set. I can't wait to get into the rest now. It's just fueled my love for the noirs again. I can't wait to see some of the other films. Hopefully they're as good as this one. Time will tell. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program, manvfilm.com, all ways in which you can support me. There's also more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And if you haven't done so, subscribe because it really helps the channel as well. And you'll get more films talking about noir and whatever else, uh, more film reviews for you. Appreciate your watching, subscribing, commenting, whatever. I'll see you next time.